Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make an ebook from your WordPress website using PrintMyBlog and .epub. So first, I'm going to go to .epub.com. The dot spelled out D-O-T. So D-O-T-epub.com. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says extension. And I'm going to click on install for I'm using Firefox, so I want to install the F Mozilla Firefox extension. Then I will click Add to Firefox, and just confirm you know, added. OK. So there is my button for it. Now I'll go to my uh, WordPress website. I've already added uh, print my blog as a plugin. So I'll just go to tools, print my blog. Now, uh, this part is the important part. Where it says format, I'm going to create an ebook. So I'm going to click on EPUB or Mobi. Make a free ebook using .epub. Uh, that's important here because it will format the page a little bit differently in order for it to work nicely with .epub. Now click, click prepare print page. Then I'll just patiently wait for it to load all of my posts. I have quite a few on this uh, blog. I guess while we're waiting, maybe we'll look at the uh, settings for .epub. So for those, I go over here to the Firefox menu and click on add-ons. So I'm in another tab, so that's that's fine. And I'm going to uh, .epub. And go to options. And uh, you have two options for immersive mode or non-immersive mode. Um, immersive mode. As I understand it, mostly that means there's it won't add any images to the to the ebook or any links. I kind of like links and images, so I will uncheck that. So now it will add links and images, and I'm going to create an ePub file. You would use Mobi if you're wanting to read it from a Kindle. Just click Save. All right, let's go back to our print page. So it's still placing content on the page. And uh, I'll just be patient, I guess. Sometimes slows down a little bit because it's uh, usually downloading some images in the background, and that can take a while depending on how big the images are. And there we go. Then it says print page ready. You may now use .epub to create the ebook. There's a link if you want to know how. You probably clicked on that. That's probably how you get here. I'm going to use .epub. So I'm just going to click on the uh, .epub browser extension button. And it will start creating epub. So this page is images. If they're not needed to understand text, do not try to retrieve them. The conversion process will be much longer and the ebook file bigger. That's true. Press OK to retrieve the images. I'm going to try. But it says this page is too many images. Uh, you'll probably usually get that if you have more than like 10 images. You cannot include them all. Oh well, thanks for trying. What it'll do instead um, is it will instead just put links to the images, which I think is okay. This is this page is very long, I know, right? But uh, it doesn't actually take that long, in my experience. I mean, I have almost was 
by 125 posts, and it'll probably just take a few seconds. There we go. And uh, I'm on Windows, and you need a special program to open EPUB files. But uh, what you would usually do instead, if you want to say read it from your uh, your phone or something like that, is you would save it, save it to the desktop or something like that. And which one is it? This was mixed up. Here's the file I just created, and I would email it to myself, and then open that email from my uh, my phone. Anyways, well, I'll open it for now from my browser or my Windows computer here. So there's the title of the site and the URL. Content has all the content of the blog. Woo, lots of it. And see, here it says where there's images that are removed. Um, you click on it, it opens it. The image. This particular program isn't great at looking at the images, but there you go. Anyways, and now we have an EPUB, an ebook of our entire blog. Thanks for watching.